Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna have a little spring reset routine. I want to declutter my life a little bit, make a new spring wallpaper together, my priorities and goals back on track. I'm so excited. It's gonna be a really productive day and who knows, maybe this will motivate you to also want to reset your life a little bit. If you've been feeling really tired or unmotivated lately, I know I have because school has been so, so busy since my marketing classes started and also just with my part-time job. Now the sun is rising and it looks so beautiful and peaceful out right now. I woke up really early because I've been trying to implement healthier habits again. 7 a.m. on the dot. We are gonna go grab a nice large chai from a coffee shop down in Newport that's going viral right now, which is kind of weird because I've gone to this cafe like numerous times. I've ordered the chai because I know it's so good. So it's just weird knowing that it's like viral on TikTok right now. Then I have a workout class at 9.15. I'm gonna do some cycling. I'm a little nervous because I haven't done that in a minute and <laughs> I might I might be really tired okay the chai is ordered we're gonna go pick that up in all her glory Never gets old. Mm -mm. Okay, let's go ahead and head home. We're gonna have a quiet time and journal. So we made it back home. Traffic was so bad, but we're here now and I'm going to get some laundry going. I need to multitask today because it's a reset day and I need to get as much done as possible. So I'm not gonna finish the rest of this chai because I don't think it would be good for me to have all this before cycling. Instead, I'm gonna hydrate and have some water. <gasps> hey, Gussie. That's a plan. Let's start some laundry and do some journaling. started the laundry, did some vacuuming, and now it's time to journal and have a quiet time, of course. I'm gonna use Pinterest real quick for some prompts for journaling this morning. All right, I really like this one. This is my journal, by the way. This is where I put prayers, thoughts, almost everything is in here. I think I'm gonna answer three because I'm on a time crunch right now. I really like these journal prompts that I chose, so I'm gonna share them with you guys. The first one is, what lessons have I learned in the past three months? I don't mind getting more personal with you guys because I think it's important to talk about real life and realistic things because again, social media can always be a highlight reel. Everyone has their stuff together and that's not always true. Um, what I put for lessons was, Waiting seasons aren't a waste of time. I feel like I've been waiting on a lot of things or there's just a lot of things in the future that I don't have planned, I don't have control over. So I just have to be okay with where I'm at right now and that's really hard. Second one, money is a gift, spend it wisely. I definitely have my fair share of irrational spending or just wanting to get trendy things that I see all across you know, platforms like TikTok and Instagram and making sure I'm not just spending to spend, spend on things I won't end up really using in my everyday life. Third one is other people's achievements doesn't define like me as a failure. It's hard to not compare yourself. We hear that all the time. And it's always so true. Seeing other people be recognized a lot for like their achievements and the things they've accomplished and kind of feeling like it's a loss for you. It's something that brings you down instead of happy for them. Make sure not to just focus on other people's highs because it's just not helpful. It's not something you deserve to experience all the time. The next two questions are, what are my priorities for the next three months? And then what areas of my life could use a refresh? I want to make my workouts more intentional. My routine has been very flaky and up and down because of editing a video, work, needing to sleep in. I just want to reorganize my workout routine, maybe dumb it down more to like a focused body group. Another priority would have to be stepping out of my comfort zone more, maybe just in 
all aspects of my life. It's a little intimidating, so probably learning how to navigate that. Vlogging in public, not be afraid to chat more and just be myself on camera because it's been difficult. This is just something I'm passionate about and this is something I just want to do. Like, I just want to connect with you guys. That is my little journal session with you guys. I do still have some time, so I'm going to have a little quiet time and write down some verses that I think will help me, encourage me this week, and continue to hydrate before my cycling class. Almost time to go cycling, and I am so nervous. I'm so nervous right now. insane. I'm not even trying to be dramatic like I've never had that instructor before and oh, I look like a tomato. She had us use weights while we were cycling. That class absolutely kicked my butt and also coming back for the first time in like months. Time for a Trader Joe's haul. I grabbed the red tart cherry juice for my mocktails before I go to bed. Arugula, salami, pepper jack cheese. I'm super excited for this because I have not tried this before. It's almond, cashew, and macadamia nut beverage. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna put this as my milk alternative for the coffee I make at home. Hopefully it tastes good. Gluten-free bagels. Some bananas here. I got these chomp meat sticks. This one is the original and this one is the jalapeno. And of course my power crunch protein bars. I have these all the time. Cucumber. I also want to start drinking tea. Elderberry, lemon balm, immune and stress tea. Excited to try this when I don't have my sleepy girl mocktails. We have to have some guilty pleasures in our grocery haul. So I have this mac and cheese. Got two of those. Strawberry mochi and the green tea mochi. Cream cheese, the steamed chicken soup dumplings. My favorite pasta to make at home right now, the vegan spinach and cashew ravioli. And last but not least, some tomatoes. I found this bouquet for $9.99. Like, are you kidding me? So pretty, perfect for springtime and perfect for a spring reset. All right, now I have to put all of these groceries away and then we're going to clean out my closet. clean out my closet, reorganize it a little bit. Part of this reset, of course, is cleaning out your closet and taking things out that you don't wear as much as you used to. I have a little pile going already. This side of my closet is my sister's and this side of the closet is mine. And besides those two like sections over here, I don't think you can even see them, but.
this is what we're working with. It looks like an explosion of clothes, but this is what I'm planning on selling, getting rid of. I have to put all the stuff away and find a place for it. I've just put things in bags. This is strictly like summer clothes, like swimsuits and all that stuff. And then some donation items as well. And a very sleepy doggy. Okay, here's a rundown of reorganizing my closet. All my dresses here and maxi skirts, workout clothes and jackets here. Down here I have all of my button-ups, sweaters when it still gets chilly during the springtime, my jackets, belts right here, all of my jeans, overalls, all of my tops color coordinated, running shoes, my nice everyday shoes. There's just emergency random stuff, hair clips, scrunchies wallets for all of my shorts some more sweatpants colored pants all of my crew necks one crew neck is up there nicer purses my going out purses for all my workout bottoms leggings sports bras all my pjs and sweat shorts and sweatpants down here is just a random drawer where i keep my stuff swimsuit reusable bags all that and my hats closet is cleaned out it's organized we ran some errands next step of my reset routine will have to be making a new spring wallpaper as well as buying some self-care items off of Amazon. Kind of random but very needed right now. I really want to read the Atomic Habits book but I know a bunch of people have already read this book. It's been pretty popular but I've been really late to the party but that's fine. Better late than never. So we're just gonna go ahead and purchase these two. It is in fact the next day I had my Amazon packages get delivered this morning so I'm gonna open them on camera. Our two makeup and skincare products, the first one being Mix Soon's Bean Essence Serum. This stuff, oh my gosh, this really smooths out your skin and evens out your skin tone and it makes your face just so dewy and glowy. I love this product. I hope to get more products of their brand soon. The makeup product I ordered is Ilya's Base Face Milk. Oh, I thought this was the blush. Okay, so I ordered two things actually. This one was the base face milk. Oh my gosh, it's so tiny. Why is it so small? Okay, um, this is not the size I was honestly expecting. Um, for the price I paid? That's fine, that's fine. Okay, we're gonna test it out anyways and see if we like this product. I've heard great things about this and I'm so shocked right now, the fact that, like, look how small this is. Look at my hand. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Next package. Huge. Look at this bag, bag and look, and at, look what at what they, they sent. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's a huge bag. This is the blush I ended up ordering from them. It's a multi-purpose blush, which I love, so I can use it as eyeshadow and put it on my lips as well as my cheeks. I love the packaging, it's so simple, and I love that it's a stick. I'm gonna put some on right now. It's a really pretty shade. I love how subtle it is too. So, I'm still waiting on one more thing. It's the Atomic Habits book, but it won't come till April. I'll definitely have to start reading that as soon as I get it. Now let's make our cute spring wallpaper. I'm gonna go to Canva, because that's what I use. If you guys are curious what I use to edit my videos, I use Canva for like everything from text to visuals. So I created the dimension or my wallpaper size on my MacBook. Now I'm gonna go to Pinterest and just start downloading a bunch of cute photos I want. Okay, I think I got enough pins saved here, so I'm gonna go ahead and upload them and then I go ahead and play around and have fun with it. I just adjust scale. Sometimes I even edit to make the colors pop more or add some brightness to some colors that turned out darker than I thought. It's super fun, super relaxing. I love the way this turned out. I think it's adorable. Okay, so this is the final product. I'm going to save it now. 
been a couple of hours later and I went to my work to trade out some clothes. So I sold a lot and I had some money in cash and I also bought some things that I've had on hold. I'm so excited to show you. Here's a quick springtime thrift haul. First, I got this beautiful lace cardigan. I absolutely love the details. This really stood out to me. I love the size. I love the sleeves. Everything about this top screams spring. So cute and elegant. I can't wait to style this. Next is this oversized button-up. Pretty simple and classic. I like that the color is very neutral. It can go on top of so many tanks that I have. I do have a lot of sweatshorts, but I couldn't say no to these because of the length. And also they're from Aritzia, so you know they're going to be really good quality and super comfortable. I cannot wait to wear these on a super casual layback day. I also scored a Skims like lounge bralette. I found another beautiful top for springtime. It's from Free People and it has this beautiful neckline, this corset fitting bottom. The sleeves are so cute. They tie at the top and then they cross over in the back. And on colder days, because I live in California, I found this beautiful green Free People long sleeve top. The bottom is really cute. It has this like lettuce trim and a wider collar. Next is this Aritzia tank top. I found a tank top similar to this at my work as well that was yellow, but yellow doesn't look too good on me. And I was like, you know what? I'll wait till maybe I find it in a different color. And I did. Really soft material and super stretchy. And I love the details. And last but not least, I immediately fell in love with this dress that I saw hanging. It's this beautiful flowy dress. I love the cut. I think it's very flattering and it's not too deep when I put it on so it's pretty modest. I love the watercolor floral. I sold a lot and I feel like I cleared up my closet really well and now I have some really good spring essentials I will be wearing. Well, thank you so much for following along with me. I had so much fun getting ready for springtime. Leave a comment below things that you're excited for this spring. I really want to know what you guys are up to. Feel free to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!